Hello and welcome. Want to create a professional, interactive dashboard like this in just 10 minutes in Excel? Try clicking on any region, month, or item. Watch as the data updates instantly to reflect your selection. See how the charts and key metrics, such as total amount and total sales, change in real time to give you deeper insights into your data. Get ready to boost your Excel skills. In this video, we'll show you how to build a sleek and powerful dashboard that helps you analyze and present data like a pro. We have raw data here. Let's create a new sheet for our dashboard. Right-click and rename it as a dashboard. Move the data sheet to the end by dragging the sheet tab. Let's go to the dashboard sheet. Go to the insert tab. Click on illustration group. Click shapes. Select rounded rectangle shape. Draw. Adjust the corner as per your requirement and reposition the shape. Go to the format tab. Select shape fill. Choose a color and click on more fill colors for a darker shade. Remove shape outline. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the shape. Go to Format, Shape Fill and choose a light shade for this second shape. Resize and reposition the shape. Go to the Data List sheet. Click anywhere in the data. Press Ctrl A to select all. Go to the Insert tab. Click on Pivot Table. Select New Worksheet. Click OK. Rename the sheet as Pivot Table. Click in the Pivot Table and select the Date field from the Fields pane. Go to Analyze tab. Click on Insert Timeline. Select Date. Click OK. To customize, go to Options tab and remove extra options from the Show group. Then drag and adjust the timeline as needed. Press Ctrl C to copy, then go to the dashboard sheet. Press Ctrl V to paste. Adjust and reposition it as needed. Go to Pivot Table Sheet. Select and copy table data. Paste into other cells. Clear current fields and select region. Go to the Analyze tab. Click Insert Slicer. Select region and click OK. Go to Options tab, select Columns and resize the slicer by dragging its corners. Copy the slicer, paste it in the dashboard sheet and adjust its position. Go to the Insert tab, click on Illustration, Shapes, select Rounded Rectangle Shape, Draw. Adjust the corners. Duplicate the shape by holding Ctrl key. Select all shapes. Go to Format tab. Arrange shapes. Change the shape color by selecting Shape Fill. Change the outline weight and color using Shape Outline options. For the remaining shapes, remove Shape Fill. Set outline to white and adjust outline weight. Select the first shape, go to Home tab, change font color from the font group, enter text as Dashboard. Select text, change font size. Apply center and middle alignments. Apply same formatting to remaining shapes. Go to the table sheet. Select Pivot Table. Copy. Paste into other cells. Clear fields. Select Item. Go to the Analyze tab. 
Insert Slicer. Select Item. Click OK. Go to Options tab. Increase Slicer column count according to the number of items. Adjust Slicer size by dragging its corners. Copy Slicer, paste into Dashboard Sheet, adjust and reposition it as needed. Go to the View tab. Uncheck Grid Lines from the Show group. Go to the Insert tab. Click Illustration, click Shapes, select Rounded Rectangle Shape. Draw the shape. Adjust and reposition it. Go to Format tab. Click on Shape Fill. Change Fill Color. Go to Shape Outline. Click on No Outline. Duplicate the shape by holding Ctrl key. Adjust shape as needed. Change fill color. Duplicate both shapes by pressing Ctrl plus D. Drag and position the shapes to other side. Change shape fill color as needed. Select a shape, duplicate it, resize and position as shown. Create two more similar shapes as demonstrated. Go to Insert tab, Illustrations group, Icons. Search for desired icon, select and click insert. Select an icon, click and drag it to the desired location on the dashboard. Repeat for other icons. Select an icon, go to format, change its color from graphics fill and repeat for each icon. Go to insert tab, select shape. Draw. Enter text. Select text. Increase font size. Go to the Format tab. Remove shape fill. Change text fill color. Remove outline. You can also apply bold formatting. In this shape, we want to add some text. So drag any previous text box by holding Ctrl key and change the text. Repeat the same procedure for the side shape to enter text. Apply the same steps to other shapes. Regional Sales Monthly Sales Report Product Sales Go to the Table Sheet. Select the previous Pivot Table, Copy and Paste to other cells. Go to Analyze tab, Open Field List, Clear Fields and then select Region and Amount. Select the Table, Go to Insert tab, Click on Chart and select any bar chart. Here I am selecting 3D bar chart. Go to the Design tab and change the chart color to match your dashboard format. Right click, hide all field button on chart, remove extra labels. Click on plus icon, remove grid lines. Remove shape outline. Resize the chart. Copy and paste the chart into the dashboard. Resize and reposition the chart as per your requirement. For the monthly sales chart, go to the table sheet, copy the previous pivot table, paste to other side, then go to analyze, open field list, clear fields. Select date. Keeping only months in rows and select amount to show the pivot table with month-wise amounts.
Go to the Insert tab. Click on Chart. Select any chart. Go to Design tab. Change color. Right click. Hide all fields. Remove extra labels. Remove grid lines. Go to Format. Remove shape outline. Copy the chart. Paste into the dashboard. Adjust and reposition as per your need. For product sale chart, go to the table sheet. Copy the previous table. Paste to other cell. Go to the Analyze tab. Click Field List. Clear fields. Select item and amount. Select table. Go to the insert tab. Click on charts. Select desired chart. Go to design tab. Change chart color. Right click. Hide all fields. Remove extra label. Remove grid lines. Enable data labels. Select chart. Go to the format tab. Remove shape outline. Copy chart. Go to the dashboard. Paste it. Adjust the size and reposition it. Go to the view tab and enable the formula bar if you had unchecked it earlier. Switch to pivot table sheet. Select pivot table. Copy it. Paste to other cells. Go to analyze, field list, uncheck fields, select amount. Select side cell, press is equal to, select total amount cell and press enter. Two format numbers, go to the number group, select number, use the separator, choose decimal places and click OK. Copy this table, paste to other cells, select amount field, go to values field, click on value field setting, select count and click OK. Press is equal to, select total count, press enter. Switch to the dashboard sheet. Select any text box, drag it by holding control key, clear text. Go to the formula bar, type is equal to, switch to the table sheet, select the total amount cell and press enter. Drag the total amount text box to the desired place and format as needed. Follow the same steps for total sales as you did for total amount. Now see the result, we just created an interactive professional looking dashboard in just 10 minutes. Test the dashboard by selecting specific regions, months, and items to see dynamic results. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. Add comments below for part 2. Let's keep learning and growing together. Stay tuned for more updates and videos. Thank you.